So in today's video, I've scoured the internet and spent over $350 on some of the most interesting, strangest, and straight-up cursed LEGO knockoff products. We're also going to test each one so we can decide if they are popping or need dropping. Starting off with this ninja sword, which is actually made up of these weird tiny brick pieces that snap together as normal, but also attach together on each side using these little grooves. So once a lot of them are connected together, it actually feels pretty solid. But like a real ninja, let's test it on some fruit. Okay, so even though it did break a little bit, I'd say this sword is popping. Next up, we have this little collection of known store brands made by Lele Brother. Bruh, I like how the logo even has the same styling as the Lego one. But anyway, the sets came with the famous fast restaurant place, McDonald's, featuring the big M logo and a burger on top of the roof. And down below, they actually have a sitting area next to a tiny version of Ronald McDonald. I low-key used to be scared of him when I was a kid, not gonna lie. We also have another fast food place called KFE. I like how they kept the original logo, but they just gave him sunglasses. This one also has a little balcony, and some sitting area inside. We also got the famous sports shop, Nake, with a big shoe on the roof, which actually has the perfect spot to fit a minifig. And finally, we got a Walmart, which has a couple of trees, a fountain, some shopping aisles, and this big shopping trolley on the roof, which also perfectly holds a minifig. All of these stores actually click into place together to create a little shopping high street. Honestly, even from far away, they look kind of good. The Nake set also came with this cursed minifig riding a skateboard. Hey, yo, he's still got some skills, though. I'd say these are popping as the names are funny and the attention to detail is actually quite good. Next, I wanted to buy some minifigs, so I copped a pair of these. They came flat packed like something you order from Ikea. But once put together, they've got 12 separate joints and a lot of these different realistic hand gestures to choose from. Oh yeah, also I lost the head for the yellow one. But luckily a normal minifig head fits perfectly. Bruh, look how smooth the movements are. And now we can throw up different gang signs at the ops. Yo, you can literally play rock, paper, scissors with them. Oh damn, I, I actually lost. Or you could just, you know, try to recreate the worm. Sheesh, my man is moving. Okay, that took way too long to make. Also, you can put these hands on normal minifigs as well. Though it does look a bit cursed. These little things are straight up popping. I also got a handful of these colorful minifigs. Guys, what the heck? They actually gave me two right arms for this pink minifig. And you can use them to color match to your sets. Comment below how many colorful minifigs you can see right now. I bet you can't see all of them. Or you can randomly mix them together to make it look like a five-year-old has designed them. I'd say these are popping. I also remember always playing with the glow-in-the-dark minifigs when I was a kid. So I bought these fake ghost ones to test if they actually work. So I tried putting the ghost outfit on my minifig and now the head is literally stuck inside. But I still want to see if they glow in the dark, so we need to let them charge up in the sun for a bit first. But while we wait, this is a balloon house set, which is a fake version of the Lego upset. It's a bit flimsy, but they use these transparent pieces and chains to create the illusion of the house flying, which is kind of cool, I guess. It also came with these two minifigs, which low-key look weird and nothing like the original thing. Especially this random old man. Back in my day, we didn't have flying houses. Oh shush mate, honestly. We also got the big bird and the dog from the movie. But I do want to test if it actually flies. Yeah, I don't think this set can actually fly, guys. Well, the set needed dropping anyways because the minifigs are just straight up cursed. Now I felt like building something scary, so I went ahead and bought Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Or if you're British, bit odd, in it. Honestly, the detail on his knockoff set is actually pretty good. It's got movable limbs, so you can pose it in whatever way you want. He's also got a creepy looking rib cage, and these nails, which are actually kind of held in place using an illegal building technique. And even these saliva pieces dripping from his mouth because he's hungry from a burger from the local McDonald's. Mmm, so good. But imagine leaving this creature on your bedside table and just seeing this as the first thing when you wake up. A little bit scary, but I'd say this one is popping. And to finish off the Stranger Things theme, I also copped this $33 set. But this knockoff set is actually a pain to build and the parts keep coming loose and falling apart. One of the knee joints even broke when building. I'd already say this set needs dropping and I don't even want to finish building it. But luckily we can let the Demogorgon clean up the mess. I think the fake ghost minifigs have enough sun energy now. So let's go to a pitch black room and see if they work. Yo, no way, they actually work. So this is an $11 set and once built, they can attached to your wrist and by pushing this bar we can deploy these plastic claws and then it's very satisfying to pull back the claws and load it again. This is a comparison of what a six-year-old kid thinks he looks like while wearing these and then on the right is what it actually looks like in real life. I am 23 by the way, don't judge me, but I don't think this set was designed for adults as my hands are just a bit too big for it so my pinky finger just has to chill outside of it and a wristband barely fits my hand. But I do have more of these track pieces lying around so I can make it slightly bigger. The whole thing is powered by these rubber bands and the original one isn't the strongest. So I went to the store and bought some new strong thick boy rubber bands and once we replace the old one it's actually way stronger so obviously let's see what we can cut with it a piece of paper bruh these are actually quite sharp what about a banana and an apple yeah these things don't really feel like a toy anymore don't try those at home please you can also replace the blades with other things like there's three minifigs which can now be used as an actual weapon against your enemies what the heck one of the stormtroopers actually left some paint behind but i think my hand is going a bit numb from wearing this thing so i'm going to take it off but i'd say that this is definitely popping we also have this knockoff wally set bruh they just slap these 
low quality screenshots from the movie on the side of the box. And this fake set is actually a copy of a Wally -E Lego set released in 2015, which is a retired product now. Even though this one is fake, the build quality is actually decent, and I'm surprised they even kept the copyrighted decorated tiles. The tracks are quite satisfying to look at when they roll over your hand. You can also open this door and use it to store your pasta inside of it. Hey guys, my Wally -E is making this weird rattling noise, and I don't know why. He's also holding this little plant, just like in the movie. Though it does look like it needs some watering. Don't worry, I got you, bro. He also Loki looks about the same size as my dogs, so I wonder if I can take him for a walk. Wally -E was one of my favorite movies growing up, so I'd say this one is popping. And while feeling nostalgic, I also cooked up this Knock of Minecraft Village set, along with this treehouse set. Sorry, my bad. It's actually DIY World, not Minecraft. And apparently the Xbox One edition, whatever that means. The set itself is alright, I guess. We've got a random cake in the middle, a gate and fences to keep some animals in, some torches, and carrots that are just fully above the ground. The house actually has a working door, but you can also open the whole thing and pretend that you're inside of it. And this very legit THT block. I guess they didn't want to name it TNT due to copyright reasons, but we all know that if you ignite actual in-game TNT, bad things happen. So let's try lighting this one. Yeah, this definitely isn't a TNT block. Oh my gosh, guys, the TNT block is literally on fire. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Instead of exploding, it just straight up started to melt. And now my house stinks like burnt plastic. This set actually came with a few of these cursed minifigs. One looked like someone basically tried to draw Minecraft from memory. Then this treehouse set has this random bucket attached to a string. But this entire village is still looking a bit empty, not gonna lie. So I went ahead and spent like $55 on a bunch of random knockoff minifigs. We've got a few of these Mario boys, as well as some Spider-Man characters. Each one came with their own web to sling from. A bunch of these fake Avengers characters. Some fake golden Harry Potter minifigs. And then a bunch more of these cursed Minecraft minifigs. Now it looks like a family-friendly Christian Minecraft server. We'll say this one is popping as well, innit? But I wanted a bit more action, so I got this tank set, which came with these two soldiers which actually have working knees in their legs. Hey, they can literally get sturdy while on the battlefield. Sheesh, okay, let's go. They also came with a few of these guns, a big sharp knife, some binoculars to spy on their enemies, and even hand grenades. And this water flask that they can use if they get thirsty in the middle of the wall. The tank has a rotating turret and a hatch where one of the minifigs can sit in, but the tracks actually barely move, and they keep falling off, so I'ma say this one is dropping. Bro, the Minecraft world is on fire now, and the man in Lego City is on fire. Build the truck, pump in the water, and off to the rescue. Oh wait, I think they forgot they're literally made out of plastic and they can't even shoot actual water. Don't worry, I got you fam. Oops, I might have accidentally flooded the village now. But this set is actually a three-in-one, so we can also build this helicopter instead. And save all the drowning minifigs. Yeah, I'd say this one is popping. And more random knockoff minifigs just got delivered. So we got some fake Simpsons, which look pretty accurate to the actual Lego ones. Homer, I got you some of these dusty donuts. Marge. Which don't take Marge's hair off. Bro, that is so cursed. I like your cut, G. But I'd say these are popping. We also received a couple of Scooby-Doo minifigs, which are decent quality and came with this square burger. Bro, it's actually busting. <laughs> Me bricked up. Hey yo, what you say? I'm dropping these lot. And we also got these Among Us minifigs. Just so I could smash them with a hammer because nobody cares about Among Us. That was honestly so satisfying. I want to lay some bricks down, so I got this mini fish tank. It's made up of these tiny bricks, and it actually took me one hour and 30 minutes to build. It does come with a fair bit of detail though. Like these scientist minifigs in the tunnel, all the fish swimming around, and even this big fish bone remains in the middle. It also said on the listing that it's meant to be watertight. So let's pour some water in it. Yo, that is actually pretty cool. And it looks like a perfect place for a minifig to swim in. It even has actual lights built in so it looks even better when it's dark but we can also use it to make a british cup of tea in it mm, this works good as a mug <laughs> i'd say this one is popping for sure by the way all this small scale building made me think what big scale lego would actually look like so forget this channel to 100,000 subscribers i'm gonna attempt to build the biggest lego minifig you've ever seen so why not subscribe mate go on press it i just got back to my studio and i can see that my minifig is committing illegal building techniques and now he's got five wanted stars so i got this fake lego police set and now we can arrest him have fun in jail mate police vehicles also have to be fast to keep up with criminals so to test it this is one mile per hour. And this is three miles per hour. This is six miles per hour. Yeah, he's still cruising along. And this is the max 10 miles per hour. Sheesh, mate, look at that thing roll. And it's still really stable. This set is popping. This is a Titanic set that's made up of over 4.4 thousand of these tiny bricks. And it legit took me like seven painful hours to build. Once I was done, my fingertips low-key really hurt. I mean, just look how small these bricks really are, bro. It even came with this tiny, cute little brick separator tool. It's so small, even a normal minifig can hold it. But finally, all the pieces came together to create this decent level of detail on the ship. We have four of the funnels, these two flagpoles, and a lot of windows along the side of it. We can even see the propellers out of the water. There's even the water plates that the big boy sits on top, along with some water foam and waves along the edges. But we all got the same question. Does it float or sink? So I quickly filled up my bath and carefully placed the Titanic in. Okay, so it kind of floats, but then tips to one side. If anything, this makes it more realistic, so I'd say it's popping. This is for the OGs amongst you who remember this little guy from my last products video. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Ah, now it's time for a relaxing bath. The things I do 
food for content, you guys. And while we have the water ready, I also cooked up this warship. It has these movable turrets, and the listing actually says that the set comes with two personal children. I really hope they meant the minifigs. But anyway, let's see if it floats. Yeah, not great at all. Okay, so this warship actually comes with wheels instead, and it's meant to be used on the ground. So I'd say it gets the pass, and it's popping. But on the topic of military, I also copped this army base, which comes with barbed wire everywhere that will stop any minifigs trying to climb over the fence. And then we have a lot of these guns just lying around, as well as some mounted machine guns. It even came with a spring-powered mortar that actually shoots these little missiles. The base is a bit empty though. Luckily, we've got some minifigs that arrived on top of this motorbike, along with a little army dog. I'd say this one is popping, and I kind of wish I had it when I was a kid, not gonna lie. But can it survive this Lego knockoff shotgun? Okay, so you load up these shotgun shells, put them inside of the shotgun, and then just pull the trigger. Yeah, so the shotgun is a bit weak. It didn't really do any real damage to the base, but it still looks cool, so I'd say it's popping. Let me know in the comments below which of these knockoff products you'd actually buy. Yeah. But I'll see you in the next one, lads.